say what's interesting about my fight camp is this country. You know, we're not out in the best of the gyms, we're not out there in the coolest of places, but we're here and we're, we're working as hard as we can. My name is Richard Torres and this is Fight Camp. I want to fight, you know? I don't need to fight to get out of something. I want to fight. So because I want to box, because I want to do this, I need to train. Because I want to do this, I need to condition. So I'm not worried about the needs right now. I'm worried about the want. And the want is why I need to do things. My name is Richard Torres Sr. and we're in Tulare Athletic Boxing Club in Tulare, California. <laughs> Depending on, on how difficult the fight's intended to be is how long the camp will be. So we're uh, just about ready to start our camp. It'll be a difficult enough fight. Uh, camp's been going good. You know, we're getting conditioning there. We're getting things ready. Uh, that mindset is a big part of the whole camp and we're getting set to do battle. And combo, jab, 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 right hand, step over, uppercut, hook. <laughs> hit it and go on the other side and hit it from the other side. Move the, working those feet. Ever since he was little, he had something special. It was something about that tenacity, that, that, that grit, that kind of, I want to I want to win, I want to be something. I'm going to get that first round knockout. Left hand came in, as did a right hand against the entire flank of Nelson, who just collapses down. A doctor anyone gets in the ring, and then the ref calls everybody out of the ring. He's like, no, 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 I didn't call the fight off. The first step on the path. I ain't never seen this before. Now, what is going on? <laughs> Then the cut happened, and oh, there's blood all over the face of Torres. We clashed heads. <laughs> As he has a bad gash. That was one heck of an introduction to professional boxing. I think I'm pretty strong, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, but I, I would say the the main asset I have is my conditioning. Concrete here to support the edges and the sides of the canal so that it cave in. I get at least like three or four sessions in a week. Whether it's this or it's actual strength and conditioning, it's up to my dad, my coach. But uh, when the strength and conditioning is not that day, then it's the, the farm work activities. I think this is a, a high rep at a medium weight. So what it does is I think it builds muscle conditioning. So it's like, it's not just trying to get bulky. It's actually trying to condition your muscles for a, a load over a certain amount of time. I mean, I, I do a couple of different things that uh, I'd say most boxers don't, but uh, that's what makes us different, right? No matter how fast you are, no matter how strong you are, in that sixth round, I'm gonna be just as fast, I'm gonna be just as strong, if not stronger. You know, so that means when the eighth round comes, oh, you're in trouble. You can run for a long time. I wanna show everybody you can run how hard it worked, because I worked hard. For a long time. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how conditioned I am. I will be more conditioned than you when I get in that ring. If you can make it past the first round, you're probably in trouble already, you know, because I'm going to take it to you. You see a lot of old-time fighters and they're tough as nails. 
They're tough because they lived hard. It, they shoveled, they hammered, they picked up bales of hay, they carried buckets of milk. My dad tells me to do 10 flips. I'm gonna do my best to do 10 flips. At the end of the day, I trust in what my dad's doing, and uh, I can't say that about any other coach. To be a good boxer, to be a good athlete, to get anything, you have to have a desire, a goal. I don't think I'm different than any person that I, I see every day. I just think that I worked hard in one certain area and it made a difference. You know, I think that's the only separation is the, the consistency in, in your everyday life. And I, I'm a firm believer that anyone can get to level on that. Small later, he'll cut you down. What's up, Pop? I just did my eight miles on Rocky Hill. Yeah, I'm feeling good. So what do you want me to do next? Okay, so you ran eight miles. You gotta keep training and be a winner to train like a winner, okay? All right, cool. No, 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 no. I, I feel like I'm a normal kid from, from Tulare, and I feel like just a lot of good things are happening to me right now. I'm definitely gonna try to act in a way so that one day I can inspire someone, but right now I do just feel like I'm a normal person. And you let it go. Yeah, that's, that's all you get. That's all. <laughs> My town is a part of the way I fight. The people I've met, it shows the hard work that these people do in their everyday lives, and that pushes me and drives me to be a better boxer in itself too.